In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to track text in DaVinci Resolve so that you can do things like this with your titles. To get that effect is actually really easy. It looks like this in Fusion. Your, uh, your node web will look like that. But we're going to get rid of that right now and we're going to bring in a brand new clip. I've already got our in and out point set for where we want. We're going to drag this into our timeline. Boom, just like that. And then we're going to make it a fusion clip. So you right click your clip, go to a new fusion clip, click on that. Now you'll see that it changed down here to fusion clip. Then we're going to pop into fusion. Boop. Here we are in fusion. We've got our in, we've got our out. We can leave those exactly how they are for now. We're going to start with our text. It's optional how you, what order you do this in. But we're going to start with our text and we're going to make it say cone, just like in that example footage. And then if we look at it in our first viewer here, cone. Easy as that. Simple. So we're going to set that off to the side for now and we're going to add a tracker. So you hit shift space to search through here. You type in tracker and then boom right there we're gonna hit add now we have a tracker but right now this tracker can't see anything so we're gonna drag our media in onto our tracker alright so now if we pop that right here you can see that we've got our tracker up here go back to the beginning of this clip alright so we've got our tracker and we want to track this cone where's our cone there he is so we want to track this cone because it's pretty visible to everything tracker wise because it looks very different from the things around it so if we zoom again yep we're still on it and we want to make that as small as you can it doesn't have to be tiny but the smaller it is the faster your computer will be able to go through tracking it so once you've got your tracker placed on the thing that you want to track you're going to hit this little play button right here so we're going to hit play and it's going to track our cone all the way through our clip alright so our tracking was completed but it kind of messed up it jumped over to the little piece of whatever was next to the cone so we're going to go ahead and delete this tracker we're going to pop in a new one and bring this back to the beginning and again, we're going to output our median into our tracker. We're going to select something to track our cone here. And we're going to make it significantly smaller this time, just so it doesn't try to see that little, I don't know what it is next to it, but we're going to do that. And we're going to change this to frames per point two. And that's going to change so that not every single frame does it find a new point to track but every two frames it finds a new point to track and that can make it a little bit smoother so again we're gonna hit this play button it's gonna track through boom and we're at the end of it it's gonna freak out down there alright so if we watch it back by putting our text here with our media in all right, so now our media out over here is what it's actually going to look like, but we're not done. So we're gonna wanna pin our tracker over here. You see that little push pin? And then we're gonna click on our text, go into our layout here, and then we're gonna right click on the center X and then click on expression. We're gonna collapse this so that we can see our center down here. We're going to drag that plus down to our tracked center, and we're going to drop it on there. I did not delete that stuff first. Okay, so drag it on to our track center, and then you'll see that it is expressed, that the expression is right here. All right, so then if we play it, our text is stuck to that cone, and it will follow that cone all the way until that cone is off the screen just skip forward a little bit until the cones about off the screen so that I can show you guys once it leaves the screen our track text kind of just hangs out because it's still looking for the cone even though the cone is gone so what I like to do is about like here when the cone is still visible 
I like to start to do a uh, right on and right off. So we're going to skip forward a few frames until our cone is just about gone. And then we're going to completely write off. So then, if we watch it back, we'll go up a little further. It just boop, boop, disappears right with the cone, and then your clip plays as normal. That's it. That's how you track text in DaVinci Resolve. It's super easy, super fast, and I hope that you guys are able to use this in your videos, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, and subscribe for new content from me every Monday and Wednesday. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I'll answer every single one of them. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.